Yo, so welcome to Containing Luxury. I'm Blake Madgett. If you're new to our channel, I'm a general contractor. I built stores like Prada stores, uh, Nike, Foot Locker, Starbucks, Steve Madden. And what we're here doing now is kind of showing you how to build your own container home. What we're going to be covering today in this episode is doing a lot of the prep work for paint. And we're going to try and get this thing painted. Now that we have the interior doors and exterior doors installed, we're going to kind of show you how to keep this thing cool for the rest of the build on the inside. So let's get started. On our build, we're using a used container. So a lot of the conditions of your containers at home are probably going to be like ours, unless you went ahead and bought a brand new one, in which case you're probably not going to have a lot of these imperfections to fix. But just in case you do, here's how we're going to take care of those. This is just a, re a regular battery grinder. Um, and what I have on here is actually a grinding wheel that will strip the paint and kind of clean up the steel at the same time. So as you can see right here, we've got kind of a rough spot where the paint is actually wanting to peel. Somebody went ahead and actually tried to put another coat of paint on top of ours and did not do the best job prepping it. So ours is peeling before we go ahead get our coat on, we want to try and fix a lot of this stuff. Where I grinded it, it's not perfect, but what I wanted to do is just get rid of those edges that are, you know, real, that you can kind of almost pick off. But any bad areas, I, I'm just trying to very lightly blend it. So when it's ready for paint, you hopefully won't see that stuff. All right, so we got all of our prep work completed. We've got a little bit better temperatures today to start the, uh, the painting of the exterior. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then at the end, we'll walk through what products we used and why. So we got all the painting completed and a major difference in temperature when you touch the steel. And now we're gonna tell you what products we used on the two different phases. So this is what you first saw spraying on. And this is actually an elastomeric. And what that means is it's flexible. It's pretty much like a rubber coating. It's a really thick product. Um, so it's very difficult to spray. So if you want to spray something like this, you need to be able to turn your pressure up really high and use a really big tip. If you're not doing that and you're doing a do-it-yourself or you can absolutely apply this stuff with a roller and a brush, it just takes a lot more time. It can be used on brick, metal, roofing, uh, virtually anything. It's a waterproofer and it also drastically reduces the heat load. And then our top coat, just a standard uh, high quality paint. Bare, I've had really good luck with. I use it all the time, interior, exterior. Um, and this can just be picked up at Home Depot, both these products actually. Thanks guys for tuning in. And if you like what we're doing, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere in this vicinity and uh, give us a like. And if there's anything that we missed or something you specifically want us to make a video about, just hit the uh, comments and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you guys and have a good day. Getting all pretty. Do I look pretty enough? Do I have anything in my sheath? Uh, retake? Yep. Uh, now I can't remember what I'm saying. Dude, do I look like I aged like 37 years? Since the day you were born? Oh, real funny. Okay, so... It would yeah. be like right here. Yeah, so uh, up a little more, over here. Be like no, just no, in this vicinity? No. Too low, too high. Right here, but right on top of the five gallon button. Yeah. Bu yeah. Button bucket. Hit the button bucket. Wow, that's not what I wanted to say at all. Talk, talk, talk. All right, what are we saying? <laughs> <laughs>